What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. This is actually my second time filming this video because the first time I filmed it, I had it on an SD card and I was working on that SD card the other day when I was filming or when I was editing another video. I was editing that video and something happened, Final Cut Pro shut down and when I turned it back on, the SD card was done. It just kept coming up an error message and I was not able to get any of the footage off of that SD card. So I was so frustrated. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, then you saw how frustrated I was because I was sharing with you guys what happened. So after this long intro, if you guys are interested in seeing what I was loving in the month of July, then definitely keep on watching. So I was not going to mention this item in my favorites just because the company said that they were not going to restock this item, but I recently saw that they did restock it. So I wanted to share it with you guys so that if you have a chance to pick this item up, definitely jump on it. This is the E1 from Morphe Brushes Elite Collection and this brush right here is amazing. I love it. From how soft it is to how big it is. I don't know if you guys can tell but I have a pretty fat face. That's not me downing myself. It's just reality and I have a really big face. So when it comes to powder brushes, I really appreciate these big powder brushes because they work wonders for putting on powder foundation or just putting on my setting powder at the ends of my makeup. When I'm done putting on my makeup and I need a big fluffy brush to put my setting powder on, this brush is perfect. So I really do love this brush. Like I said, I wasn't going to talk about it because Morphe did say that once they sold out of these brushes, they were not going to restock it. That they did restock some of the brushes. So if you are able to get your hands on the E1 or any brush in the Elite Collection for that matter, I would highly recommend these. The next product that I want to talk to you guys about is actually a powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. I did see a review of this here on YouTube and I was really intrigued by it because it says no color. When you open it up, it does look like it has some type of color to it. So inside, it does look white. Um, even though it says no color, like it does look white. It actually does look white when you first put it on the skin, especially if you are dark skin or tan skin like myself. But when you brush it off, it doesn't leave any type of cast or any type of marking that you on where you put the powder. It's just amazing i absolutely adore this powder i do love the laura mercier translucent powder that one is still one of my favorite powders but that one is a pretty expensive powder for just being a small little tub this one was 19.99 and this one is a huge tub but this tub is going to last me a really really long time so i really enjoyed this and i was really excited for the price they also have another size i believe it's a three ounce size and that one is like $10.99. So this one was $19.99 and that one was $10.99. But it's definitely worth the money. I feel like it does work with setting my makeup as well as baking. I use this to bake underneath my eyes and help with my concealer creasing. As well as baking underneath my contour. And I absolutely love it. I purchased mine on Beautylish. I will link it down below for you guys if you're interested. But if you're looking for a good setting powder that is going to last you a long time... I would definitely recommend this guy right here. So staying along the lines of face, I want to talk to you guys about the Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. If you guys have seen previous favorites video, then you guys know that I love the Quadly Beauty Elixir. I love it for after I cleanse my face and before I put my moisturizer on. I also love to spray it before I put my makeup on and also after I put my makeup on to set and to hydrate and to give myself that dewy glowy look. And this spray right here is a dupe for the Quadly Beauty Elixir. This one is so similar to that one, except this one is a drugstore product, so it's a drugstore price. That one is way more expensive than this one, and I feel like both of them pretty much do the same things. When it comes to differences, I will say that they both smell absolutely different. I prefer the smell of the Quadly over this one. This one, I'm not too fond of the smell. But other than that, I feel like it does just about the same thing. It nourishes my face, it hydrates it, it prepares my skin when I'm putting my makeup on. After I put my makeup on, it definitely does leave like that dewy, glowy look to it. And I love it. So as you guys can see, I have been using it the month of July and 
you know, it's about this much that I've used. When you first look at this, it can be really intimidating. I have oily skin and when you first look at it, you see all of this oil on top and then the fluid on the bottom. Once you shake it and you apply it, it goes on your face like a mist. It doesn't make your face look completely oily or anything like that. It just gives your face a beautiful glow. It's really hydrating. I don't know. I have just have been loving this spray. If you guys have a Target near you and you have a chance to pick this glow mist up, I definitely would recommend it. This is definitely a product that I have been loving in the month of July and also in the month of August. So yeah, definitely, definitely recommend the glow mist by Pixie. The next drugstore item that I've been loving as we move on to eyes, this is the Telescopic Shocking Mascara by L'Oreal. This packaging is like gunmetal packaging. I know a lot of people love the Carbon Black L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and I also love that one as well, but I wanted to try this one because this one says that it gives you shocking extensions for eyelashes, and if you guys know me, you know that I have little itty bitty eyelashes, and I need all the help I can get when it comes to the mascara department, so I wanted to try this one, and I really do enjoy the way it makes my lashes look. I'll show you guys what the wands looks like because when you look at the wand, it's a little different than the other telescopic wands. Um, I can't really explain what the wand looks like. It's just like really flat but puffy at the same time. But I really do love this for the top of my lashes but also for the bottom lashes. I feel like when I put this on my bottom lashes, it just extends them out so much and it just looks so beautiful. Um, so I've really been enjoying this mascara for the month of July. The next product that I was loving in the month of July is this NYX Wonder Pencil in the color Dark. I use this in my waterline and you guys know that I have an infant so I hardly get sleep. As you can see I'm up at 11 o'clock filming right now because I had to wait till my son went to sleep. So I apologize if my eyes are like bloodshot red but I'm really tired and it's really late. But in instances like that, I just put this Wonder Pencil inside of my waterline and it really helps with opening up my eyes, just allowing me to look more awake, especially when I'm really tired. I am someone who loves to wear dark eyeliner in my waterline just because I love the way that it looks, but on days when I'm really tired or when I want to open up my eyes and I want to look more awake, I will put the Wonder Pencil in my waterline and it just really helps with opening up and making myself look more awake. So this actually does come in three other colors. I believe it's light, medium, and dark. I do get the dark one because for me, the dark one actually works perfectly. I have a pretty dark waterline, so when I apply this, it just gives it that perfect nude, and I love it. I don't like it to be too light. I feel like if I use the medium, it's a little too light. So when I use this one, it's just the perfect combination. I can also use this for cleaning up my eyebrows like after I've done my eyebrows if I want to just clean it up a little bit I can use it and the dark color works perfectly because it still gives it that light look underneath my eyebrows but not too light and I don't really have to do a whole lot of blending so this one's perfect for helping me clean up my eyebrows as well as you know putting it in the waterline for making me look a lot more awake and a lot more bright so I definitely have been loving the NYX Wonder Pencil and I definitely recommend this. The next two products that I want to talk to you guys about are lip products. The first one is the Gerard Cosmetics. This is the 1995 lipstick and this is what it looks like and one of the things I love about these lipsticks is the gold packaging, this like bullet packaging. I just love this but as far as the color itself I have really dark pigmented lips so when I put the 1995 lipstick it just kind of works well with the pigment of my lips and gives me the perfect nude. I can wear this if I'm wearing a full face of makeup or if I'm not wearing any makeup at all and I just need to throw some color on my lips. This is the perfect color for that. I can wear this on its own or I can pair it up with lip gloss and it looks absolutely stunning. So the Gerard Cosmetics 1995 lipstick is one of my favorite colors for my lips. And then of course you guys know I've mentioned it before in a previous favorites video and it's still my favorite lip gloss and this is the Plum Crazy Lip Gloss by Gerard Cosmetics. I love this lip gloss. It's so beautiful. I will swatch it for you guys. Um, I swatched the 1995 lipstick which is this one right here. 
And then this is Gerard Cosmetics Plum Crazy, which I also love. This is my favorite, favorite lip gloss of all time. I've talked about this before on my channel, so I'm not going to ramble on about it, but it's still a favorite of mine. And it was still my go-to lip gloss color for the month of July. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is actually a perfume. I am a perfume junkie. I love perfumes. So when I receive a perfume as a gift, I'm always super excited. Sometimes I'm a little nervous because when I receive a gift like perfume, I never know if I'm going to like the scent. I'm pretty picky when it comes to scents. I did receive this one and I absolutely love it. It just smells really clean and it smells like I can wear it if I'm wearing jeans and a nice blouse or if I'm just going to throw on my J's and sweats and a t-shirt. I can wear this which I'm pretty much a J's sweats and t-shirt type girl. So this perfume is perfect for those days when I'm just wanting to hang out and I, I don't know, I absolutely love it and I didn't even say the name of it. So the name of it is Aqua de Gio by Giorgio Armani and I love, love, love this scent the month of July and continue to love it now. So definitely recommend you going into a store and smelling this and seeing if you guys like it. I really enjoy it and I definitely, definitely recommend it. But that is it guys. That is everything that I was loving in the month of July. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it definitely does help my channel. Also leave me a comment down below to let me know what you were loving in the month of July. You guys know I love to film videos for you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!